All right, guys, we've been um, trying to adjust the NASA GPS light um, with this new uh, Flip Sport FPV that I've created. Been having a lot of issues with it, just flipping over all of a sudden when you just give it too many quick movements left to right. And, um, you know, I don't know what's a flashing yellow right now. Um, let's see. Maybe that's uh, the problem is it's warming up. Let's see. Alright. So, we'll see what it does here. So we got turned on. It's flashing green. Should, uh, steady yellow. It's got to warm up, I guess. Uh, what we're going to do is... I was finally able to get it to go in the GPS or compass calibration by using the toggle. Okay, for some reason before it wasn't allowing me to do it. I think I was just toggling too fast, and it wasn't able to catch up. So if I did, I did like a toggle rhythm, and it all seemed to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it again. I just did it two minutes ago over there by the table and by the concrete and everything so I don't know I'm gonna do it out here in the middle of the grass and see if it maybe that way it's a little better let's see so here we go we're doing a toggle it's not not going see Faster. Let's see. See, it's not. There. So now I'm going to turn the quadcopter around. It's got that, and then we'll go nose down, and it's got that. Okay. So, now it should be good. Okay. I always like the power cycle after you do something like that. So, what we'll do is we'll power cycle it take it out here where it's going to take off from and get ready to fly so we are recording okay so that was the first time that I was able to actually do the, the compass calibration since owning it I don't know why it wasn't allowing me to do it I've had to adjust my gains and everything so I don't know. We'll see. It's been flipping over. Let's see how it goes. Alright. I've turned... I've got the basic roll and pitch gains down to 90. Now I get the breeze. So it's fighting it. And I've got the y'all down to 95 and I've got the vertical gain at 155 it was at 145 but um, it was losing a lot of altitude before I'm not gonna get much of a flight here but I just wanted to see if how it's doing when I and the and the attitude gains I switched those to uh, 80% So it's not going to be as responsive as before. Let's see if it's going to fall over. Every time I do this little roll thing, it wants to fall over. Seems like maybe that was the problem. Maybe because I couldn't get the compass calibrated. I don't know. 
don't know if it's compass or was it attitude gains. Pretty good wind that it's trying to fight. So, all right. I think I can change now that I did that compass calibration. I think I'm gonna up the basic gains again. by the wind too much. I'll go in here and bump these to 100. to 90 make sure I write everything everything's looking good um, I don't know if you can see that but I've got so I've got my basic gain at 100, 100 and 95 and 155 and the attitude gains at 90 so we'll see how that goes. I'm going to export that and save it over here. So, power cycle, and we got 100, 195, and 155, 90, okay, I think that'll be pretty good, and let's just for Check the IMU status, and it's okay. No problem. Zeros. And one. Very good. So, should be okay. Alright, need a new battery.
this off. Oh, we're still.